What's good? It's your boy Fanon. All right, man. I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on today and analyze some numbers that have come out for the Amir Khan and uh, Terrence Crawford fight. Actually, their prelims, the pay-per-view numbers are not out yet. And I'm going to tell you, man, here's the here's what I'm coming around to, man. Tell you what I'm going to tell you. Look, man, this fight, if the trends from the prelims continue, there's going to be a big, the biggest problem going to be making with this, uh, with making the Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence Jr. fight is that uh, Terrence Crawford's side and Bob Arum don't have any, won't have any leverage in, uh, in making that fight. And I'll tell you why when I go through the numbers, man, and it's not a good thing. It's a fight that I want to see. And it's something, man, that I fear. I hope that I'm wrong about, but I don't, uh, you know, they say men, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. And uh, this, the numbers that are the preliminary numbers that are out or specifically the numbers for the preliminaries, man, they don't they don't look good in Terrence Crawford's favor. Let me break that out, though. Before I before I do that, though, welcome back to the channel. Hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Uh, we got um a lot of videos we've got videos that come out every day we also got live streams also check out the patreon on the channel so here man i know there's a lot of people that don't like to talk about numbers and boxing and we're boxing fans and all that good stuff but look man um i i like looking at the numbers for pay-per-views and i'm a as people that are familiar with the channel know i negotiate deals you know that's my primary job is negotiating deals and whenever you're negotiating a deal or looking at you know what your options are and what you can get for a particular deal you have to understand what your leverage is and your leverage is the amount of influence you have on the outcome of that deal you know how much do i need you versus how much do you need me and when we we can recognize that then you know we can both come around to an agreement that we both feel is fair and so when I look at these numbers, man, let, let me give you the numbers first. Now, these are the fights for the pre pre preliminary fights. Now, by that, I mean the Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan is a pay-per-view was pay-per-view. And those numbers are not out yet. The numbers for, uh, excuse me, um, the Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence Jr.'s fight those pay-per-view numbers are out and I'm going to be conservative with those numbers and say that they did 360,000 pay-per-views there are reports that they did 400,000 pay-per-views but I'm going to be conservative and just say you know 300 uh and 60,000 pay-per-views now the the preliminary though right the preliminaries for this fight between for Spence versus Garcia. That's our the that means the fights that were aired on regular TV on Fox before as a lead in to the actual pay per view card had an average viewership of four hundred and twenty one thousand viewers. So on Fox, regular Fox that we could watch, averaged four hundred and twenty one thousand for the for the prelims for the Errol Spence Jr. versus Mikey Garcia card. The prelims for the Terrence Crawford and Mir Khan fight were on ESPN. It is a lead in to the pay-per-view that was on ESPN's ESPN pay-per-view. That average, those average numbers were 29 excuse me 291,000 so the preliminaries for for Amir Khan and Terrence Crawford were 30 percent less than the prelims on Fox for Errol Spence Jr. and and Mikey Garcia those numbers are again Three of uh, four hundred and twenty nine thousand and two hundred and ninety one thousand two hundred ninety one thousand. That's a 30 percent drop right now. How do you project? And I'm saying this is leverage. This is just saying, OK, well, how does that what does those numbers translate into for the paper for the pay-per-view numbers right now? We don't have those out and we'll have to see. But I'm telling you, I, be I believe 
then I'm being gracious to top rank side by doing this because and just using these numbers because tech top rank was counter programmed by the PBC counter pro that means that there was an option on Fox the same time there was a pay-per-view and there was a million people that watched a million people that watched Danny Garcia and Adrian Granados averaged 1.01 million and those and that was during the pay-per-view for Air, for Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan but I'm not even taking that into consideration where I'm saying look man this fight right now monetarily is looking like 70 30 in favor of Errol Spence Jr. Because there was a 16% drop in between, um, and I guess this could be a step we could just skip past, really, because we know that there's a 30% difference in the prelims, right? And but the pay per view numbers were 360,000 for Spence Garcia, which was, you know, a drop of I think 16%. Between one uh, 429,000 for the prelims and 360,000 for the for the um, pay-per-view. If you do, if you take that same percentage drop between Errol Spence Jr., between the prelims for the Terrence Crawford pay-per-view, you get a drop, you get a pay-per-view of 200 and base roughly 244,000 pay-per-view buys for Errol Spence. I mean, for Terrence Crawford and um, Amir Khan. And like I said, I think that if he hits 250,000, if he gets 240,000 pay-per-views, I think he would be lucky. The likelihood of the number of pay-per-views going up from when uh, from the prelims to the uh, pay-per-view card is slim. Just, and that's and logic would tell you that. That there's going to be more people willing to just pass by ESPN and watch fights that are on ESPN. And a percentage of those people would then go to the pay-per-view, right? You're not going to have a bunch of people, more people interested in watching that are going to be willing to pay for the pay-per-view and not then are just going to watch the prelims. So, man, I think it's going to be winding up. I think it's, I think that Terrence Crawford and, and, um, Amir Khan are going to do less than 244,000 pay-per-view buys. And if, but if they do that, that's 70-30. That's 70-30 difference. And then you got to take into consideration the gate. The gate that, the gate that they pulled in from uh, T- Dallas, Texas, and the gate that they would pull in from, you know, doing a fight in New York. So when Bob Aaron was saying, yeah, we can get together and do a 50-50 fight, Nah, man, you're more than likely not going to get 50-50 out of this. More than likely, you're not going to get 50-50 out of this. Errol Spence Jr.'s first pay-per-view did 360000 Honestly, man, I think that, that Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan are going to be lucky to do 200000 And so if it winds up that they really believe that the pay-per-view numbers for Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia were 400000 and and Terrence Crawford does under two hundred thousand, dude. You're looking at like you know, just you're looking at no leverage. You're looking at no leverage, and then you know, um, look at that. Take that even further, and say what options, what future options do the fighters have? It's Terrence Errol Spence more than likely is going to have another pay per view with Sean Porter. He can have a fight with. Uh, Keith Thurman he has the ability to make a bunch of fights on within the PBC without ever dealing with top rank so you know my hopes are that the numbers are better for Terrence Crawford and for Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan and I know that there's going to be some arguments that people are going to make about oh this against Danny Garcia you know it's Mikey Garcia those are Mikey Garcia's numbers it doesn't matter man because they're going to say, look, man, if you get it, if I'm on a card, we're going to do these numbers, right? If you're on that card, those are the numbers you did. And this is the second time that Terrence Crawford has been on a pay-per-view. The first one was with Victor Postal and it did 50,000. Now, if he comes in with Amir Khan and he does 200,000, man, and God forbid if it does in the hundreds, 
If it does in the hundreds of thousands, man, there's no leverage, man. And it's just one of these great fights. And unfortunately, it can become one of these great fights where people say, yeah, man, you know, Terrence, you're a great fighter, but man, you don't really put any, you know, you don't bring anything, you don't bring any money, you don't bring anything but a risk to the table. Now, that is obviously a boxing conversation, you know, a business conversation and not a boxing conversation. And rightfully, many people that are hardcore boxing fans uh, will, you know, brush those type of things aside. But um, it, it it's real. It's real. And it's saying, OK, is Terrence Crawford and Bob Arum going to be willing to say, yeah, you're right. OK, so let's do the fight. We want the fight, you know. Clearly, the A side is the is Errol Spence Jr. is the is the A side. God, I hate that phrasing. And are they going to be willing to deal with that reality, or are they going to say, "Hey, man, this is a 50-50 fight," and then hope that Errol Spence Jr. wants to say, "No, nah, let's make it 50-50. I think that's fair, right?" In a situation like Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, and that very well could happen. But, um, you know, that's a hill to overcome for sure. So anyway, I just wanted to go through that analysis with you, man. I know it's heavy on the numbers, but and we'll actually see what the pay-per-view numbers are. But I I, I seriously doubt it's going to be over 240,000 pay-per-views. So when I'm saying this 70-30 comparison, that's I'm really believing is given is given team Crawford and and uh, and top rank a lot of room. But we'll see when the numbers come out and we'll do a follow up on that. And with that, I'm out. Peace.